Hey Kathy. Hi. So I see you've got a little circuit or routine set up for me now, yeah. which is this is something that you train for when getting ready for a fight, Muay Thai or mixed martial arts. Especially for mixed martial arts. Um, okay. It really does help with explosiveness and, and speed of movement, okay? agility. How is this rule different from, let's say, doing a weight training session for legs or chest, because usually we, we split them up? Right. Well, for the jumping, especially on this box with two feet, um, it, it can definitely simulate kneeing somebody in the face and that quick explosive movement, you have to jump quickly, you have to knee quickly. I've okay? never, in all my years of doing fitness, I've never heard an exercise explained like that. Simulating kneeing someone in the face, I love that, I'm going to use that one. There you go. But you're quite right, it's that same movement yes. with a hip action, yep. explosive, yep. ballistic movement that I guess you use when you're in the ring fighting. Exactly. Okay. So we're doing uh, box jumps here? Box jumps here, okay. then cone. Now, let's say someone's diving for your feet, you've got to be able to pick them up quickly. You don't want them to be able to grab your feet. Okay, especially when you're the diving for a single leg, single leg takedown or a double leg takedown. Okay. okay. So this is why we do the cone work, for speed and agility. The fast okay. speed and agility, right, yeah. okay. Now, Got that. with that, not playing this here. Or, and or push-ups. You do mountain climbers and push-ups with that. Okay. Okay. So we got some lower body, lower body, upper body, and maybe one more for upper body. Yeah, some explosive movement. This is a little both upper body and lower body. Okay. So uh, I see what we're doing. Okay. You got in here. You explode. You that. Jump up. Okay. Go up as high as you can. When you catch, you're here. Okay. Jump up. Catch here. Catch. Come back. Okay. So you jump on the ground. When you catch, you're squatting. Okay, okay, don't let it go below your chest. Got it. Okay. How many reps are we looking to do on each one for time? I think for now I'd just like you to do 10 box jumps. You're going to go up and back and up and back on the cones. Yep. Do 10 push-ups. Okay. Mountain and 10 push-ups. Okay, a little bit outside of my regular training, but I'm getting for it, so uh, you're going to stay and watch me? Yeah. No. Normally I would have five stations set up. And we do five each minutes of these on stations, each station. No, each, each that station is one, two, three, that would be four, and maybe one other five. Representing five minutes of that round. Five minutes of doing one exercise, probably. Five minutes of doing, well you have one minute for each one of these. Okay, okay. Equally five. Right. And that five minute is your round, and then you get a one minute rest. And then you do it again. Correct. Okay, so this is simulating in every sense what a fighter has to do when they're in yeah. the ring. In I'm going to shorten the version for you, but yes, okay. that's exactly that. what you'll be doing. So in each minute of the round, they're doing something different. Okay. okay. Let's stop then. Okay. Well then in that case, let me get one more. Ah, I know. This is the last one. This will be the fifth one. Okay. These are uh, bench hops. Watch. Place your hands here on either side. Okay. Don't those four. That's the last one that we do That's after that one. Correct. Okay, it's about a hundred degrees in here already. Already? We're both sweating, we haven't even started, so uh, let's get to it. Okay. Short inversion, remember, just ten, ten good boxes. And then as soft as you can right in the Okay. 
do. Now, just each of these, go. Yeah. Now each of these normally would be one minute. Each station would just be one minute. It gives you a rough idea. <laughs> it does, and I think I did that for a minute altogether. So a minute, minute. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. I like that one. How often would you do this? Three days a week. Minimum. Combined with some full work, pad work, and weight training? Minimal amount of weight training, yeah. um, but I would do it. I'd work with kettlebells, I'd work with, uh, you know what a Russian getup is? Yes. Okay, I would do exercises like that with the kettlebells, um, good weight training, or, or jumping on the box with the weights, or something along those lines, lifting the tires and flipping them. Great. Hitting the tires with the sledgehammer, which unfortunately we done, don't have. Done some of that, that's hard. That type of weight lifting, yes. I would. And how often would you change things up? Um, is it always this kind of circuit? It's this kind of circuit, but the exercises change all, okay. all the time. All the time, because in, in MMA, everything changes very rapidly. You have to be able to adjust and adapt in a moment's notice. You have to. So it's just it's like awesome. doing this. I don't want you. I don't want my body getting used to doing the same thing over and over again. Otherwise, yeah, the, the fighter would never do the same thing. Correct. Always want to okay. trick you. I, I mean, guess. you have a same general head. idea of what they're going to do, but everyone has their own take on it. Right. Yeah. I love that. Where can people go online to find out more about this kind of training and uh, how they can incorporate this into their routine? If they're in Los Angeles, they can certainly come to uh, Chap at LA on Pico and Grand. Otherwise, they would go to an MMA school who focuses on mixed martial arts specifically. Or if they just want to do boxing, go to boxing. If they want to go to Muay Thai, you just do Muay Thai, that's fine. You can do that too. Yeah. I love that. I think I'm going to have a minute's rest and then uh, see if I can build up three, four, even five more of these circuits. That's the end of this, uh, this workout show. Join me next time here on Process.com when we'll be showing more tips, tricks, and techniques to help you get in the best shape of your life. See you guys then.